So a couple weeks ago, I covered the TAC Eradicator and I turned it into somewhat of an assault rifle. So I took the Holger 26 with the same kind of idea in mind and wanted to see if I could do the same thing. After all of my testing, it's not gonna be as fast as the TAC Eradicator, but it is rather similar and it's gonna be a little better at range. So let's jump into these attachments. Getting us started here with a stock, I have the Ascent Lord stock. That's gonna give me aiming idle sway, recoil control, gun kick control, and fire aiming stability. It is gonna hit quite a bit of the movement. However, this attachment is necessary and you can see why here. We get 17.5% to the gun kick control, 8.5% towards the horizontal recoil control and 10.1% there to the vertical recoil. For the rear grip, we're going to be going with the Morn 20 grip here. That's going to give you flinch resistance, aiming idle sway, gun kick control, and recoil control once again. Honestly, this weapon has quite a, a massive kick to it without the correct attachments on it. So you can see the target of what we're going for here, and that's going to be limiting the recoil. This is going to give you 14% to the gun kick control. Then we got 10.5% to the horizontal recoil control, and then 11.1% towards the vertical recoil control. So just like the TAC Eradicator, we have a smaller magazine size here. That's basically going to turn it into an assault rifle. You can see we're gaining two ticks there to the aim down sight speed, along with some movement speeds and reload quickness. This is the attachment that more or less turns it into the assault rifle itself. And I'm going to hide my camera so you guys can see some of the statistics there it's nothing too crazy as far as values go uh but it overall it's going to increase the movement it's going to increase the aggressiveness of the weapon turning it more into an assault rifle versus an lmg now for an underbarrel i have the bruin heavy support grip that's going to give you gun kick control aiming at sway horizontal recoil control and fire aiming stability so after using the Holger 26 a lot, testing out a lot of attachments, I found that the vertical recoil is quite easy to control, actually. It's a very slow but progressive recoil pattern that you can easily control. However, the horizontal seem to be much more relevant. So that's why I chose the Bruin Heavy Support Grip here. You can see we're getting 10.7% towards the gun kick control and negative 13% there towards the horizontal recoil control at a sacrifice of aim down sight speed, of course, but... Honestly, I felt like this attachment was 100% necessary. And our last attachment here is going to be the Shadow Strike Suppressor. I'm going to call this an optional type of attachment. I like to stay off of the minimap. Personally, I've said that before in the past, but if you want to take this off, maybe go with an optic or possibly a different muzzle to get more recoil control. You can do so, but I would highly recommend at least giving it a try with the Shadow Strike Suppressor on just the build as I've given it to you and see how you like it. So when it comes down to the Holger 26, I had mentioned very early on in the game, I actually really liked this weapon. I'm not too big of a fan of LMGs in general, but some of the LMGs in this game, for an example, the TAC Eradicator, now we also have the Holger 26 here, they perform a lot faster than your stereotypical LMG. It's not like the raw LMG or the RPK where they're super, super slow and sluggish weapons. You can definitely get up and get around the map with these ones and get a little aggressive. So like I said, they don't necessarily perform similar to some of the other LMGs but there's still an LMG when it comes down to the statistics. There's the rest of the loadout. If you guys were looking to copy that down, I highly recommend you guys watch the gameplay. You can get a good look at how the weapon actually performs, and it's some pretty good stuff. I'm going to be honest. I was having an absolute last make sure you guys hit the like and subscribe button as always let's get into it hope you guys enjoy we have got the holger 26 and like i had stated in my tack eradicator video i had come up with a similar build to that where it's kind of like an ar i'm not gonna say it is an ar it's still got a little bit of some deficiencies with some speed and stuff but it's definitely oh my goodness oh my goodness oh my goodness Oh, that is what I call a start. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh my God, we're already going. Dude, what the hell? All right, team. You guys are setting me up for freaking success here. I appreciate you. I don't know where the guy is on the hill. We're gonna hit the dash here for a second. I mean, this start couldn't have gotten better. I don't think I've ever had a start like this. Sit here before the Homeland Security Committee. Our job is protect the Oh homeland. my goodness. And of course, there's a bad mic. We're laying the heck down. There's always a bad mic. This is unreal. I'm also not trying to burn this advanced UAV. It is still early. I don't want to get ahead of myself, you know? My team's here, so we got spawns. That's good. That's bueno. I definitely slowed down a lot, but that's okay. 
Listen, sometimes you just gotta take a chill pill, you know? I should have taken a bigger chill pill because, uh, that's a bad mistake. We still have an advanced UAV, but that's a mistake for sure. When you have a start like that, you can't be, uh, giving away free kills like that. What's worse is I actually didn't put the swarm on, I forgot. I forgot to put the swarm on. Ow. Oh my god, he is in the depths. How did you even get there, dude? What is that? You're not hitting that shot. I don't know how to tell you this. Even if you try to take that shot, I don't think you're going to win it. Well, I'm going for him. Tip this. Oh, he's above? He's above. He's dead. Let's get another one. Still spawning here. I'm going to give him the chopper again. I can't move, dude. I literally can't move. I can't. I don't know what to do. We're out of here. Don't you snipe me. Don't you snipe me. Thank you. That could have been a lot bigger if I was able to kill those two guys, but they both had snipers. I mean, what do you want me to do? Advanced UAV. I don't need a nuke. They got a support helo. How the hell did they get that? Wait, I have an EMP. Ah. I have an EMP. That should destroy it, right? Did it destroy it? I don't think it destroyed it. Maybe it did. They're all over the place. This is some wild spawns, actually. Got a guy low. We got a guy's here. Yeah, these spawns don't make sense at the moment, actually. They're so split. Teammates humiliating him. They're all here. No more advanced UAV. I didn't even look what streak I was on. There we go. It's a 28. 29. And 30. Okay. If I would have the swarm, I would have had more kills, but I'm not upset. Whoa. That's a spawn. And he's got the covert sneakers on. You can tell he's got the covert sneakers on. You couldn't hear Dan thing. You he, he wasn't moving. Who was shooting me? Thank you. I got to hit nuke already. Are you kidding? This game could all oh, the game. They all left. I understand now. Okay. Well, going to be another situation where we do a second game for sure. Because 60 kills. It was a fast 60 kills. One of the most insane starts I've ever had. Second game again for sure. I had such a good sleep schedule for a long time and then I got behind on videos and no longer is my sleep schedule remotely good. It is at, at 2 17 a.m. I haven't stayed up this late in a long time. Call me a bitch, call me whatever you want. But I did say I wanted to play on a map I don't normally feature on the channel, so we do have invasion here. I haven't nuked it yet. I'm spinning around like a top. Holy go. Oh my God. Calm your titties. 
Again, haven't nuked this map. I don't know if this is going to be the day I nuke it. We are 100% going to try, though. I just saw him jump the wall. Dude, this guy is just on a revenge tour. That's all he wants. He just wants revenge on me. That guy right there is on a revenge tour. He's a little psychotic. Okay, did the spawns not flip, actually? I was about to say, I think the spawns flipped. They didn't. I've just been up in their freaking meat. And I'm one kill off an advanced UAV and we're moving on to the second hill. Oh, that could have been it. That could have been it. Nope, you just want to joink my kills, pal. I understand. Okay, so we saw him cross. Means he's going to be right there. That's not even him. It's going to be another one there. Good shots, actual. Good shots, actual. I'm going to try to nuke this. I am going to try. Not going to promise anything. Oh, dude, I thought I could get on that ledge. I'm not going to promise anything, but I'm probably going to play a bit slow here. I am getting a lot of kills jacked here. With me getting a lot of kills taken, I'm just going to have to be extra with how I go about this. I can't run it, people. As I run it, people, I don't think he even knew he was running into a spawn, though. I feel like I'm in the lion's den, actually. Oh, that's a kill. We like that. What I'm going to do is actually all this scramblers here, actually. This mosquito drone, I think, is going to go after me. Like I said, I'm playing a bit slow. Never nuked the map, so. My scaredness is taking over what we can do. Yep, that's what we're doing. That's good. There's a guy up here in this building. I just don't know how to get up there, so we're going to leave him alone. I don't know how you get up there. Okay, this could be one of two things is going to happen here. I was about to say one of two things are going to happen. I'm going to get really good timing or I'm going to get really shit timing. And it, the answer was shit timing. So it's a brutal. Oh, he's he's got a riot shield, dude. I don't know where they're spawning here. This hill freaks me out. I want them to make a mistake. Is he right there? Is that a gun? I want them to make the mistake, not me. I'm not normally this patient. You guys know that. That, I think I was on a 29, dude. I think I am on a 29. And I think that kill just kind of yoinked me. If it did, that's unfortunate. If I die here, I'm going to be so mad. Not mad, upset. Apparently my whole team sees him as well. Again, I'm not normally this patient, but when I haven't nuked a map before and this map's a little scary, I'd rather pay, play careful than, than not. I'm not liking this at all. I I don't normally play scared, but I'm I'm scared. I'll be up front with it. I am scared. Wait, there's a guy right here. This could be it. Please don't die. Where'd he go? Dude, where'd he go? He may get him. Uh, that could have been that would have been the most disappointing death on the planet. I tell you. Oh, I just can't buy this kill. This game doesn't want me to have it. It doesn't want me to have it. I'm convinced. See what I mean? Like, he's not peeking. They're smoking it. It doesn't want me to have it. 
Jesus. That shouldn't have been that hard. That shouldn't have been that hard. But it was. And I only have 31 kills. It's kind of embarrassing. There's going to be a lot of editing, that's for sure. I want to at least crank the kill count up a little bit and not have it so embarrassing here. Because let's be honest, it's a little embarrassing right now. Okay, let's go team. Let's make a comeback, huh? What are we thinking? Okay. 44 kills. I don't know if I'm gonna have time to get any more. Confirming next hard point. Stand by. No, they're they're gonna win the game on the cell. I gotta hit the nuke. I had a lot of kills jacked for me this game, actually. Like, there was a ton of kills jacked for me. You are so weird. Hold that. Thank you. Technically 47 kills. I probably had 992 assists, but we have... That just means derail and Corey, the only two maps left to do.